Hello YouTube, it is Monday and you know what that means, quick fish room update time, so stay tuned. Alright, so just a quick update on the 125, I'm going to be adding some fish in here. The rest of the Park and Sonai Rainbow Fish, uh, as you saw last week, I shipped out 8 of them to Kyle's Wild World. I still got, I don't know, a dozen or so left. They're all going to go in here. And uh, since I took out all those other fish, it is looking kind of barren here. I realize that there's a ton of rainbow fish in here, but I feel like we can get away with a little more. So let me show you the ones I'll be throwing in. All right, here they are. You can count them. I do have a better fish in here. I just put this guy in here. Um, I probably, whoops, probably should have waited until I took the rainbow fish out because it might make it a little harder to catch them without upsetting the better fish. But you know what? I'm just not that smart. And then over here, we still have the Teleogramma brichardi. All four of them are still alive, but we're definitely still fighting off some sort of uh, fungus or infection. So I need to get a water change on there. I've been feeding them kind of heavy. You can see it's getting a little dirty in there, so we'll do a water change, suck all that crap out of there, and get these rainbow fish moved over. All right, so we got the water change. We got the three types of medications in there. That's why the water is nice and blue kind of bluish green I guess see all the general here floating around and uh, hopefully that will get it this time it didn't get it last time so we're going again the temperature is about 82 degrees in there so cross your fingers because these are really expensive fish that are now hiding everywhere the teleogramma brichardi I've had these before um, and uh, once I saw that they were available I scooped them right up but they did not come in the best condition, so hopefully this round of medications will get them. I don't even know why I'm still looking at this because they're all hiding and you can't see them. All right, well, let's take a look back in here now that the fish have kind of settled down a little bit. Definitely looks a little more full in there with all those Parkinsoni rainbow fish in there. But boy, what a difference. I mean, they look pretty big in the 10 gallon, but that's not even the biggest male right there. And then you have these little guys swimming around. <laughs> So yeah, it kind of puts things in perspective. There's the big male. So the fish are acting and looking a lot better. If you remember from Saturday's video, we did treat this with general cure as we did have some issues with some of the scales on these fish. There's still one more rose line shark. Uh, if we can see them. It has some lingering effects, but overall, everyone's looking a lot better. So that's why I decided to put those rainbow fish in here. So I know it's looking pretty stocked in here, but we are going to put a lot more fish in here. We're really going to put the Fluval FX6 uh, to the test here because if I could not make everyone sick, this tank is definitely way overstocked and it's really starting to affect the plants. So I'm taking all of the Bleeding Heart Tetras out of here and I'm going to move them into the 125 gallon. That's going to be the next project. So that's probably going to be, well, the next video on Wednesday. We'll see. I don't know. Um, what else can we look at real quick? Apparently we got some turkeys. I guess it's been a while since we checked in on this tank here. Everyone's still doing great. The panda guppies, the longfin white cloud minnows, the plecos are still going strong. However, I don't see the um, pom-pom crabs very often anymore. They stay burrowed. I don't know if they're coming out at night, but I can kind of slosh around the substrate or kind of run my fingers through it, whatever, and scare them out. But I don't like to. I mean, there's no point in stressing them out, but every once in a while, you got to make sure they're still in there and they're alive. Um, and the orange shrimp are breeding in here. And of course, now that I got them on film, I don't see any but I did a couple hours ago see a bunch of baby shrimp in here. Not that this camera is good enough to pick them up, I guess, but I don't even see any adults right now. Well, that's embarrassing, but I assure you they're in here. All right, YouTube, that's going to do it for today's Monday quick fish room update. Uh, let's see. Don't forget we got the live stream tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific. Hope to see everyone there videos coming out Wednesday and Saturday so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't thanks for watching and I'll see everyone tonight